Hey guys, it's Dave here from Creative Path Films, and today we're going to answer the question, what exactly is a stop when it comes to image stabilization? So if you haven't already seen our video on exposure stops, it might be a good idea to go and check that one out first because we're going to be talking about a few things that I covered in that video. All right, let's get into it. When a camera manufacturer refers to how many stops of image stabilization a lens or a camera has, I always found that concept a little bit confusing. It's like, is it like an exposure stop where it's a doubling or a halving of the amount of image stabilization, or is it something else entirely? It turns out a stop of image stabilization refers specifically to stills photography. There's a rule of thumb in stills photography that if you want to avoid motion blur and camera shake within your images, then you should shoot at a shutter speed that is equal or higher to your focal length. So say you're shooting on a 200 mm lens. Well, that means you should use a shutter speed of 1 200th or higher to avoid motion blur. Now it turns out that image stabilization stops refers directly to this rule and more specifically, shutter speed stops. So a quick recap on what is a shutter speed stop. When you double or half your shutter speed, you get double or half the amount of light. So a one stop increase or decrease. An example would be moving from 1 50th of a second to 1 100th of a second, or from 50th of a second to 1 25th of a second. Both of these are a one stop change. All right, so what does this mean? Well, it means that shutter speed stops are directly related to image stabilization stops. And image stabilization allows you to take the same photograph so many stops slower in terms of shutter speed than you would have been able to before. Let's go back to our example. If you're taking a photo at 1 200th of a second on a 200 mm lens, and your lens has three stops of image stabilization built in. Without the IS on, we have to take that photo at 1 200th of a second to avoid motion blur or camera shake. But once we switch it on, we can now take the same photo at 1 25th of a second instead three shutter speed stops slower. Let's give you another example to really cement this. So we've switched to a 50 mm lens now and we can shoot at 1 50th of a second. And we have the same three stops of image stabilization. Well, this means we can now take that shake-free photo at 1 6th of a second, which is incredibly slow. Now this is incredibly useful stuff in the photographic world, but it doesn't really translate to video very well. Because we don't typically adjust our shutter speed for exposure control, there isn't even a tangible conversion that we can apply. So if anyone has found any examples demonstrating different stops of image stabilization, please link it down in the comments. I'd be very curious to see it. I haven't been able to find anything in my research. And without a way to scientifically replicate the same level of vibration and have access to multiple different stops of image stabilization, I can't demonstrate to you what different stops looks like objectively. So the best I can do with what I currently have available is I'm going to show you an example with a Canon lens that has three stops of image stabilization and I'm going to try and hold it at the same level of vibration. So here it is with the image stabilization turned off and here it is with the image stabilization turned on. So sorry if this is a little bit of an anticlimactic answer, it was for me as well, but I hope it answers the question for you, what is a stop of image stabilization? And hopefully that camera manufacturers will determine a new scale or a new set of terminology that applies to the video world, because arguably, we're the ones that are in the most need of solid, reliable image stabilization. So I hope that they come up with a conversion or a scale that applies to what we do. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you learned something today, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. So make sure that you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on those. See you next time. All right, let's try that one more time for safety. All right. It turns out that image stabilization stops. Stops, 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 stops. Stop. Ah, that felt good. Let's go with that version. <laughs>